Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I am Dave B. I sell Chevys, and I'm currently driving past County College of Morris in Randolph, New Jersey. This is in Morris County, and this is one of the COVID-19 testing sites, and I'm happy to report it's empty. I mean, there's not a car here with people in it getting tested, so I'm thinking that's a really good sign, and uh, you know, maybe we did in fact flatten the curve by staying home and social distancing and all that sort of stuff and hopefully we can move past this very soon and get back to work. Starting at this red light here, what I'm gonna basically do in this video is show you how to drive one pedal driving into Chevrolet Bolt. And I installed a temporary camera looking at my brake pedal and my accelerator, uh, which you can see now on the screen. And that's gonna show you that throughout this drive, uh, I will not hit the brake pedal at all. We're gonna use regenerative braking by using one pedal driving. What that means is as you let off the throttle, you slow down. And a secondary to that is gonna be my regenerative braking paddle which is on the steering wheel here that we could also use to slow down. And I'm gonna show you guys that you can drive this car without actually hitting your, your actual brakes, your foot brake. Now, that being said, be smart. You know, obviously if you have to stop, you gotta hit the brakes, you know? One pedal driving and the paddle, it's all about timing and just getting used to how the system works. Uh, and if you get used to how it works, you can do a couple things. One, you can extend your range by um, you know, using regenerative braking. And secondly, you can reduce wear on your brake pads because you like never actually use the brake pads. So I got my navigation set. This is saying that we're 3.9 miles away and about 12 minutes. So I'm gonna run this video straight through unedited and we are going to uh, see what we encounter along the way. First obstacle right here, looks like we have a detour. We do. As you can see right there, I made that turn uh, just by letting off the throttle and slowing down to a certain point. And then at that point I made my turn and back on the throttle, we can keep going. Up here is gonna be another perfect example. As we come to a stop sign, we're gonna make the left. So right now I'm slowly reducing pressure on the, on the throttle to slow down. And as we get up to the stop sign, we're gonna look both ways and we're off. Never actually hit the brake pedal, came basically to a full stop at that point. Little corner here, little downhill, just again, feathering the throttle to just maintain a, a steady speed. This is actually gonna be a pretty good ride because we're gonna go down a pretty big downhill and then we also have to go through some city streets which might be stop and go. So it's gonna give us a good variety as far as um, what, what way we should go. Actually, it just said I should have made that right, but I know I can go this way and make the right as well. Again, as we're coming up to the stop sign here, I'm just keeping you know normal distance, maybe a car length and a half, letting go of the throttle as I get closer. As I let go completely, I come to a stop. So we're gonna come to a complete stop right now. No one's to the left, so we can make our right. One thing to remember uh, when driving a bolt with one pedal, when you are at a stop, a complete stop, your brake lights are not on. And we found that out in a video I did about a week ago where I attached a camera to the back of the car and we could watch how the brake lights responded to what we were doing inside. And at a, at a dead stop, when you're not on the throttle, uh, this car will not creep. It'll basically stay in a fixed position and, uh, and the brake lights are not on. So for this exercise in this video, I am not holding the brake at a full stop, although when I normally drive the car, I do. This way, whoever's behind me knows that I am in fact, you know, stopped or braking. Got a nice downhill here going into Dover. As you can see, we're actually, if you look on the right-hand side of the screen, we're regenerating power right now. We're at 13 kilowatts, 17, 21. It's kind of climbing as we go down this hill. 
I have not hit the brake yet. I'm maintaining 25, 26 miles an hour with just a slight bit of pressure on that pedal, on that accelerator pedal. Again, it's all timing. Like as I'm approaching here, now this is gonna be interesting. I'm gonna stop a little further back because I wanna see if I hold the paddle, it still rolls. So here's an example. I am still actually rolling right now. So I may have to actually break uh, the idea of this video and hit the brake. Otherwise I'm gonna roll right into this car because of the downhill I'm on. So I actually have to hit the brake. Well, I guess I failed this mission, but I didn't. We're gonna call it a successful failure because we're gonna continue on after this light the same way we've been going. We got sirens coming from somewhere. What, uh, what didn't happen actually, which I'm gonna test out again later on. I had somebody in the comments the other day say that in their 2017 Bolt, when they were on a hill like I just was there and he started to roll, the emergency brake or the park brake I should say would activate itself because it's an electronic park brake and that didn't happen to me just right there I don't know if that's something that's in the software I don't know if I had to come to a complete stop first and then start rolling again so maybe I will test that out at a later date Navigation's telling me to go one more block, but I'm gonna go this way because it's easier to make the left or the right, I'm sorry, here and then go to the left up ahead. Now I'm already noticing this light's gonna change, so I'm gonna start and head off the throttle. No paddle necessary, complete stop, no brake pedal. It's pretty cool if you ask me. You know, I think it's a, it's a fun way to drive. It actually brings some sort of level of, um, you know, just more interaction with the driving experience, which I think is pretty cool. Like, I like driving a stick shift, you know, because you're involved more in the driving process. And I think with, uh, with this one pedal driving, you sort of get that as well. You know, you have a little bit of sort of a game in a sense to time things correctly and, and you know, just, again, be more involved in the actual process of driving. Up here we're gonna make a left. So right now I'm starting to feather. Now I'm off the throttle completely. I'm actually gonna hit the paddle and I'm at a complete stop. That was just Dover, New Jersey that we passed through. And now we're gonna be coming uh, out of Dover and into Rockaway shortly, where is the Rockaway Town Square Mall is located. Big, huge mall, which has been closed now for quite a while. It's pretty eerie pulling into the parking lot and seeing just a completely empty parking lot of the mall with, with virtually no cars in it whatsoever. Um, you know, it's crazy. Crazy times that we're in. For those of you that are concerned with me filming while I'm driving, I'll let you know that I'm doing it on a GoPro Hero 7. If you're not familiar with the GoPro Hero 7, it's like a one and a half inch by one inch square or rectangle, a uh, little small camera. It has a screen on the back, uh, which right now the screen is off, and it's basically just a lens on the front. So this camera is very good that you can just hold it in between your fingers and whatever you point it at, you're filming. So like, I don't have to look at the camera and wonder, am I capturing the scene I wanna get? I just have to point it in the general direction. And with that, you, you capture exactly what you wanna film, you know, pretty, pretty accurately. And, uh, you know, I mention that because sometimes people say you shouldn't be holding a camera and filming while driving. Um, I assure you that I am paying attention 100% to driving and holding this camera is no different than holding a coffee cup or a bottle of water. You know, it, it doesn't take any effort. 
it's just again something that you hold in your hand and you just aim where you want to aim and you film what you want to film we're almost at the mall here we're only about another maybe quarter of a mile or so uh, we'll make a quick left at the next light and then we'll pull into the parking lot again if not for that one downhill I wouldn't have hit the brake at all the entire time just using one pedal driving that beeping you just heard was my forward collision alert which I guess was notifying me that I was gaining on that car this light's still green so we are good to go I'm gonna pull up to this next light, make a right-hand turn, pull into the lot where the old Toys R Us used to be. And then, uh, actually that's where the Best Buy is, I'm sorry, not the Toys R Us. The Toys R Us is the next one. Once I pull into the lot here, what I wanna see is if I come to a complete stop, can I put the vehicle in park without touching the brake pedal? Um, I don't know if I can, and we're gonna find out together. Best Buy is open? It looks like Best Buy is open for curbside. Huh, I didn't know that. Did you guys know that? I guess you can order online and they'll bring it out to you. That's pretty good to know. Everyone's all masked up. Okay, he just told that person, that woman here, that they're not open, it's only for online. So I guess if you order online, they'll bring out what you want. Uh, anyway, we're completely stopped, my foot's not on the brake. Let's see if we can put it in park. We can. So the only time we had to hit the brake the entire time was on that downhill when uh, it, when the, the vehicle was basically rolling and then didn't uh, it didn't put it into a park brake or an emergency brake situation. So I'm gonna find a hill real quick. I'm gonna come right back to you and we're gonna see if I can get it to, to put the brake in automatically on the downhill. All right, I'm back. I found kind of an isolated hill here where there's nobody around. Uh, I am not on the accelerator, I'm not on the brake pedal, and I am slowly rolling. Uh, I've been rolling probably about nine feet so far. It did not activate the brake. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the brake, stop completely, let go of the brake, and now it's holding me. If I tap the gas, I creep. If I hold the paddle, nothing happens. If I hit the brake, I let go. It's holding me. So I guess maybe it's not doing anything where it's activating the park brake, but um, I guess it's just, uh, maybe it depends on the grade of the hill. Maybe this, it, this definitely isn't as steep as the hill I was on earlier. But um, anyway, I don't know, whatever. I hope you enjoyed this video, just kind of showing you how one pedal driving works in a real world situation. And that if you time things right, you can really drive this vehicle without actually hitting your brake pedal unless you have some sort of an emergency type situation. Like right here, I just stopped right up next to this uh, this Buick, never hit the brake pedal, and now the light turns green, he moves, we're back on the throttle and ready to go. If you have experiences with one pedal driving, by all means, please share them in the comments down below. Uh, this way, uh, people watching the video can read through them and, and just get more input on this uh, particular driving style, which is you know very new to a lot of people. I appreciate you guys watching. Thumbs up, always appreciated. If you want to see more, I have a bunch of Bolt videos and a Bolt playlist. I have a dealership life playlist, which is what it's like to work behind the scenes at a car dealership. I even have a quarantined playlist, which is now, uh, what am I on? I'm day 24. It's 22 videos of what I've been up to while quarantined in Northern New Jersey and not currently working at the dealership. So if any of that stuff interests you, by all means, please subscribe. And uh, I'd appreciate it if you do. Have a great day.